Hey everyone! Today I want to talk about keeping your Unity materials clean by removing unused material properties. When you look at a material in the inspector, it creates a custom user interface based on the material's shader. The interface only shows properties that are used by the material's current shader, but the material file itself may be hiding other unused properties. To see all of a material's properties, switch the inspector to debug mode and look at the saved properties section. You can see all of the texture, int, float, and color properties for this material. Often you'll find properties that the shader isn't actually using. Usually this happens when you create a new material that starts with the standard shader and then switch to a different shader. The numerous properties from the standard shader get added to the material and don't go away when you switch to a simpler shader. Even if the properties are empty, I've found that when duplicating a material in code, copying over all the unused properties still takes a bit of CPU time. Running some tests, it seems like Unity is able to ignore unused texture properties and not include those texture files in the final build, but I would rather not have to blindly trust that system. If you clear out the saved properties list by setting all their links to zero, Unity will re-add any properties that the shader actually uses but this will clear any property values you already have set. Cleaning your existing materials by hand would be a ton of work, but fortunately, there's this really useful script put together by several Unity forum members. It adds this editor window that shows you the property status of the materials you have selected. Most importantly, it has a button to remove all old references. It compares the material's saved properties with the properties used by the shader and removes any unused properties. You could select all the materials in your game with T colon material and click the button to remove all unused properties in all of your materials. You may want to select a few materials at a time and inspect them before and after you clean them, but I have yet to run into any issues using this tool aggressively throughout my projects. I realize this is a pretty obscure topic but I generally like to keep my Unity projects as clean as possible, and this tool makes it so easy. The tool script is also a good example of how to create a custom editor window. It uses several features I wasn't aware of before. Check the description for a link to the script and the original Unity forum thread. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.